I am Jeff. This is my Potter's Journal for August 2021 from Rooster Hill Pottery. Today on a Potter's Wheel, I am going to be making some chip and dip plates. Now, are they chip and dip plates? Or are we going to let this get out of hand and go completely to the dogs? And I am going to go vloggy on you today. This video is going to go totally to the dogs. Um, my boy Ralph is uh, 10 years old now. I noticed that this spring. And um, officially, yeah, seeing him now as an old boy. Well, my old boy gave me quite a scare last week. I almost didn't get a video up. I, he came around the corner at one point and was just gasping for breath. It sounded like maybe he was choking on something. Going, <sighs> <coughs> and uh, maybe, oh, I'm sounding worse than he did. But um, I'm thinking maybe, yeah, choking on something. Maybe because my last Ralph um, pretty much did get something stuck in her throat. Uh, this was back in the 90s when uh, I was able to take her directly to a vet on that day. Well, nowadays you can't get into a vet's office in a day. And I don't know that um, they all do x-rays. But um, he had me panicked. Um, it was any time he slightly exerted himself, he was having trouble breathing. Well, actually the old Ralph, um, she... I sat up with her an entire night and she could hardly breathe. So I might have been remembering the old um, dog symptoms, but when I woke up in the morning, I thought, well, you know, I should just let this sit for the night. When he rests, he's okay. But um, in the morning, I guess so, oh, when he just came over to my bed sometime about five o'clock and gave me that look that helped me, something's wrong. And he's not a St. Bernard, but he was drooling, so I was um, worried. I thought, you know, I should have... And you don't know. Should I do something now? Do I panic? But, um, I found uh, a number for... Because you can't get in to see your vet automatically. A number for a walk-in vet. But I called them. You don't need an appointment, and they said, we don't have any appointments at the place where you can walk in without an appointment. So they gave me a number to another place you can walk in without an appointment. And they gave me, oh no, the name for another one. So on these, we do not want to go too thin, and there's got to do a lot of compacting to get around this and this. I am using one, three pounds of clay on this medium size, uh, small to medium size chip and dip plate. So finally I did find um, a place where you can just walk in. It was a 45 minute drive away, but um, in Pittsburgh or near, you know, outside of, there were a number of options. And, the 45 minute drive wasn't too bad. It was on country roads. Well, big country roads. And then I got there and realized that, okay, he was at the dog emergency room of the dog hospital. So I think I went from a walk-in vet, and I kind of knew this before I even left, and the first thing they warned me was now charges are like this and this and this and it could cost you before you leave um, now unfortunately at this point of time you couldn't go in but they did a good job of asking questions I did my best to say what was wrong with him um, but uh, it was when he slightly exerts himself and that part they didn't get because I said it on all three interviews on the phone to somebody in the parking lot and to the doctor but on his printout okay they didn't hear it oh man it would have only taken a brie a brisk um, run down the hall but 
um, his x-ray showed up nothing, like the route. Louse, oh no, the x-ray showed up nothing, and they didn't hear it. But they did catch symptoms that I had given them, and he was sent home with medication. And I would not have slept for days, because he was still having trouble for a couple days, um, thinking that, uh, you know, there is something really seriously wrong. Um, his x-ray was fine, nothing showed up on it, and um, they didn't see that it showed any damage along the way either. Um, and I am happy that, uh, you know, he's 10 years old now, my boy's now officially an old boy, knowing that his heart and kidneys and lungs and all the extensive blood work came out that he is a healthy old boy. So I may get okay a few more years out of him and I really I was worried when I left him because they said well um, by the time we do the test by the time we do see he can see the doctor um, most people will you know I like to wait in the parking lot most people will go home we can call you so it was um, yeah, about four hours later when I picked him up. And the other thing that um, really had me worried is he lost his voice. He could not speak. Um, when he barked, there was the full guttural bark. <laughs> and nothing came out as far as sound. Um, and he has a voice that you can feel. Um, in fact, um, he stays with family anytime I travel, and when their mailman comes to the door, <laughs> their whole house shakes, so they might have been happy <laughs> to see his voice stay gone. Well, fortunately, his voice did come back. Okay, I do, these, this is something that is difficult to trim, so I am going under here with a rib and getting this clean off the bottom and then I am putting a wavy in here to catch the glazes um, first a couple of lines Okay, and that one flopped. Oh no! So I wedged up um, um, a couple extra. I want to do six in this size, and we will do this one again. Okay, here we are back the next day to trim these things. I said I wasn't going to trim. I have got, okay, on the wheel a turntable and a cushion so that we can put these with the centers that can be a little bit taller or a little bit lower um, upside down on there and the cushion will support it um, that last one that flopped on me i really should have supported it i usually do on the outside when i was doing the wavy part so that's um what happened there i guess i get nervous when or when you're watching or too involved in the story and that looks centered close enough um, and I just take a little bit off of each one of these. Some of these need more shape than others. Um, and there it is, just a little bit. Uh, but we will continue going to the dogs here. I was so happy that my uh, dog's voice came back because to me, when he barks, it sounds like singing. Um, now, I don't think anybody else would say that, but I do. And... I was so happy that because he had given me quite a scare, I thought even that I lost my boy maybe or might, but um, when he woke me up at 11.30 at night, I just said, okay, he's barking, he wants to go out and bark at the deer, this is good, I'm happy, and um, he's back to himself, so I opened the door to let him out, and no sooner did I have the door open? He was halfway across the field. I could hear coyotes barking or howling in both directions. He was right in the middle of them. 
and once again twice in two weeks oh no I'm thinking I lost my boy I always knew that he was not going to get a gravestone but a memorial marker this is not one of the times that he would respond to my call when he's on the hunt but I did know that I have a bell and that um, when I ring the bell he does call he knows that he gets extreme praise and a reward like none other so even the bell it took him a couple calls to come back to um, but he did respond to the bell and he got the you are a good boy and I got him a chicken casserole okay I did take the last piece of big chicken out of it but there was plenty full scraps and gravy and he couldn't have been happier Let's see where did I toss the rib so that was two scares <laughs> that my boy was gone in the same week But he is happy now. He's um, had a quiet week of resting. And his friend may be over soon to for a visit and to play. Okay, and you know, this is a trick that um, you're not going to see anywhere else. So do like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, for more of those Potter's Journals exclusives. So that's the three pound size when it's fired and finished. This, I do a five pound is the middle size. The big size, I'm not sure which this is, is seven and a half. This one's mine from a past firing. I think it has a crack somewhere. But I told you we were going to the dogs today. So you must be expecting this. Okay, here we go. This is Ralph's favorite kind. This is from Old Mother Hubbard's Kitchen. This is the classic peanuttier oven baked dog biscuits. Okay, peanut butter, apples, carrots, molasses, everything you'd want in there. So we've got some of those. And, okay, his friend is coming. Okay, this is the generic kind. These have the um, artificial colors and preservatives and the genetically modified corn products. And what have we got here? Meatballs. They must be Italian. So we've got some of those. And knowing he was sick, Uncle Fester from the market sent um, a get well gift. Okay, it looks like more of the fake colorings in there. And I know he hates the smoky bacon stuff, but we've got... Oh, look at that, a big one like he's never seen before. We always serve the small ones because you can eat more um, in case somebody's saying don't eat so many. And let's see, Ralph the dog, who came before her, she used to eat... Um, oh, what did I get her in the cans? It was called Reward, and then Ralph ate Mighty, Mighty Dog, and it looks like now he's getting authority. So we will get this mixed up and served up. And we will ring the bell and say, come and get it. You must have been expecting this. I told you right from the start, didn't I? Hey, look at this, look at this, we'll take care of your friend first, there you go, okay, oh you gotta think about it huh, don't worry, you got the peanut buttier ones, oh, oh Tex, oh, well you're a big dog, I guess, I guess, I guess we'll get you the big one. <laughs> we don't know where it came from. Okay, here's the, here's the good ones. Here's the good ones. Okay. And, and, okay.
day. Here's some from Uncle Fester. Find out how the other dogs live and what they eat. Okay, Tex. Okay. We'll take care of you, too. Oh, who knows? It could be Cheddar, huh? For all we know. Oh, and we'll even make sure Tex gets the Italian. Oh, there goes my fingers. How about this? Oh, oh no! Oh, you almost lost it! Okay, take care of your friend. Be good to your guests. Be good to your guests. Okay, and there for the good host. Hey, do you want to go for a walk? Huh? Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Let's go! Come on! So how you like your doggy get well party? And you know, you, your owner doesn't like you getting too much. So fortunately, they'll be out of town and they hopefully won't even see this. This is a party like you never had before.